Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will talk about the Unified Network application. There is a lots of feature which got changed after the release of version 8.0.x. So right now you will see uh, there has been new port manager section, radio manager section and how you can tag and untag the VLAN. So right now I am running the Unify controller on the version 8.0.24 you can see here I am running on the Ostify controller under the settings you see the network so we will see overall everything in this video like uh, uh, related to the WLAN wireless local area network and the VLAN settings and what changes you will see on this network controller version so uh most of the changes you will see here they have brought uh, new things like uh, new options under the controller as you can see here the ports options radios options so uh, under the ports uh, you can check for the switch wired devices ports like uh, here the list of the devices you can check the ports uh, insights and the vlans things you can check everything here and you can check uh, for in use all everything here options here like uh, there are unwanted ports also there so if you set on all it will show you all the details of other ports also but in use ports you can check it directly from here uh, what profile is set and activity like uh, transmit and receive and the tx and rx rate you can check for each of the ports like for example on the port 2 uh, you can even check uh, here on the port to what is connected. I have connected uh, one of the uh, cloud E Gen 2 plus so you can check the here for the ports. You can give the port name and we'll check later on about uh, the functionality of the native VLAN network and the tag VLAN. So this thing you will see and under the radios you will see this is the radios manager you can manage all radio stuff from here right now if you go to the settings they have removed the global options here so everything they brought back in the radios manager you can uh, if you want to set globally on the 2.4 like uh, the tx power and the channel with the, as well as the channel whatever you want to set up you can uh, check these options and there will be list of other access points also you can check all access point from here and choose the 2.4 gigabit at uh, first and you can set the channel and transmit here globally from here similarly you can set for the 5 gigahertz also what uh, transmit power you want to set what channel you want to set on that access point and what the channel width so here you can uh, also create a new wireless networks also so as of now i have created just a single network here we will check by connecting the devices on this network you can check the name and the network i am using the uh, layer 3 networks uh, which i have created under the network tabs uh, if you have seen my previous video i have mentioned about the layer 3 features of the unify switch uh, which I have created the test layer 3 and the router is USW Enterprise APU which is providing the DSCP and everything so all the traffic routing will go through the USW Enterprise APU not the UXG light so under the Wi-Fi if you see I have put the test layer 3 and the VLAN ID 2 and I have set all APs right now I have just a single AP just for the test purpose and here under the manual settings if you set on the auto it will automatically use all the default settings but you can click the manual settings here like the private pre shared keys if you use these options uh, uh, you can select multiple vlans and set the different different password uh, for the private pre shared key i have done a video previously on it how you can uh, check the pre shared key but this is a good features and it works with all uh, access point also uh, i have tested with around 15 vlans uh, and you can create up to more than 15 vlans using private pre-shared keys and after that you will see the hotspot portal this options uh, is used for the guest portal uh, options if you check these options uh, you can uh, go to the hotspot portal and uh, create a portal 
oh, for the unify so you you can access the guest network through the portal so you can check this option and the wi-fi band is uh, basically the same 2.4 and 5 giga gigahertz so this ap will broadcast both the band on this uh, test society and the band setting option is by default check because it will uh, steer the client to 5 gigahertz only when they have a strong signal connection even you can use uh, this option also if you want to hide a wi-fi name and uh, this client device oscillation works with uh, when you you can use this option and you can uh, after using this op uh, option it will isolate the client on the same LAN network or the wireless network they can't communicate with each other so for example there are other clients connected to the networks if you use this client device isolation it will isolate so they can't communicate with each other and these all options are uh, by basically unchecked it's needed uh, if you want to use uh, I mean in high density network it if you want to use uh, reduce your airtime air fairness and everything so so it will uh, improve the latency and uh, it, it can cause the connectivity issues so by default uncheck this option unless really you need that option so similarly you can use this option bss transition it should be checked and this is the uapsd so this option is uh, used uh, when uh, more power consumption is used on your client devices uh, like on your Wi-Fi client devices as well as VoIP devices and fast roaming options is also available you can set and you can even set the speed limit also like uh, you can create a profile for the speed limit also here from under the create new profile you see here you can set, right now it's set to default unlimited but you can create the other profile also and you can uh, use those profiles so you can limit the uh, upload and download speed for the wireless client and the multi uh, multicast enhancement and the multicast broadcast control should be by default disabled it is not required at the moment and the 802.11 dtim period is set to an auto and minimum data rate also is set to auto it will choose the automatic uh, options for the data rate control and the security protocol as of now i'm using wpa but you can use other options also wpa2 enterprise for the radius for the indication wpa2 and a3 and a3 and the pmf is by default uh disable pmf is a uh, product management protected management frames and even you can schedule your wi-fi also like you can set a timer for uh, wi-fi scheduling uh, i mean uh, at what time the this uh, ssid should uh, be broadcasted and you can schedule a time for it if for example you don't want to schedule uh, uh, during this time you can just uh, select here options and give the name uh, start monday end monday what days you want to start and what time you want to start and you, you can you in repeats every weeks so you can schedule for the wi-fi settings here so now we will so this is all we cover in the oh, wireless networks like the wlan and now we will check another network tab if you see here here this is the default uh, network for the uhd light which i've created and this is the test layer 2 which i have created for the layer 3 routing and you can see here i have set to the auto scale so by default vlan id 2 is set on this and i am not using any content filtering in the network group is set to lan and uh, the dscp mode is the dscp server so this layer 3 uh, network will provide the dscp server even you can set the dsc relay so one thing you will notice after creating the uh, layer 3 routing features uh, a by default automatically a inter vlan routing uh, network will be created and it will auto scale the network in this range 10.255.253 3.1 so you can see here you can't make any changes here this is the automatically created and this is like uh, if i have created the layer 3 routing features here you can create a new virtual network and even you can use the vlan viewer also here and like uh, uh, one is your default your native 
untag vlan and two is about test layer so you can check it from here even you can search the vlans from here so we'll get back to the settings of the networks so under the global like uh, if you have ipv6 support you can set these options if v6 supports and the multicast dns i've used both the uh networks that will default in the test layer even you can uncheck and this also supports igmp snooping and igmp proxy so like uh in the latest uh, version the igmp proxy and the igmp snooping also picks for the uhd line so yeah, they mentioned in the release note you can check that release note even you can enable the dsmp dscp snooping and the spanning three protocol by default set to rstp only and this whole setting uh, is not required by default keep it unchecked unless reality you need that option so similarly under the internet this is my primary wan connection as the ux light doesn't support uh, i mean uh, does not have any secondary wan connection but if you have a unify uh, like uh, unify lt lt pro you can connect to the network and you can use it for a failover options here so under the like uh, we have checked the radios options you can manage the radios from this under the uh, section radios manager and under the ports you can uh, manage all the ports of the switch and all the wire devices even you can check for the uhd light also the tx and rx rate insights of it i mean uh you can check the download and upload speed uh, for the van and lan connections even you can set the check for the vlans options from here like port one is set to default which is untag and this is the van port you can check here so basically uh, this is uh, uh, how you can uh, set up uh, each and everything on the 8.0.24 controller version which got a uh, change uh, pretty much from the previous 7.5.187 or any older version so you will find those things here changes so now what we'll do we'll connect to this ssid and you can check the what networks it gets an ip as of now uh see i am connected uh i've connected one uh uh, devices to the uh, AP, uh, test ssid in the test layer 3 network as you can see it gets an ip from the 192.162.7 so it's uh, pretty much getting an ip from that network uh, range now what we'll do we will test one more thing if you click on the switch and under the port manager what we'll do we will give the port name as test and this port is active what we'll do we will set the native vlan as the test layer 3 which is your untag so this uh and we will uh tag and we will allow all other networks or even we can set the custom we can select the uh tag vlan either default or enter vlan so we can tag but we will set to allow all and uh under the manual we keep everything as it is and we'll apply the changes after applying the changes uh, switch is getting ready provisioning so we will connect the devices on the switch port 4 and then we will test uh, what network it's get an ip and this so i have connected the laptop as well as the wireless network to the ssid uh, so you can check under the client devices there are four clients connected but one of the uh, desktop is connected to the unify switch port 3 i mean the port 4 i have created the network here as a native vlan network i have uh, untagged the test layer 3 and under the tag network i have allowed all so that uh, devices client devices getting the ip address from uh, the test layer 3 networks and it's getting proper ip network and these two uh, uh, oh, wi-fi devices i mean the client devices are connected to the ssid and they're getting the ip address so under the wi-fi networks i have checked the options as a client device isolation so i'm connected to the 
SSID and this is my network SSID and I will try to ping these two client devices and see it will reply to the ping uh, or not. So that's how we will test the client devices isolation is working or not. Let me try to ping and show it to you if I can ping it or not from that network. So my iPhone is connected to the test network as you can see here. It is connected to the test network and it's getting the IP of address of 192.168.2.7. So we can uh, you can see here it is connected so we can check the ping responses like uh, the client device isolation works or not so let me try to ping to the ip address of other networks which is 2.9 so you can see packet zero request timeout so it blocks the isolate the client devices similarly we can check for this wired devices which is connected to the network we can check the ping response here it says request timeout so the client device isolation is working now as i said uh, under the ssid i have allowed that uh, options so the client device isolation is working so you have seen that i have connected the wi-fi clients and check the client device isolation works or not so the client device isolation works when you connect to the test SID, you can't ping to the other client devices which is on the communicating uh, on the same network. So the isolation works here as of now. So similarly, you will see if you want to create a isolation on the whole networks, like another settings, if you go to the networks and uh, click on the networks, there is one option called isolation you can allow this option you can check this option if you check these options you can check this option is useful for the guest hotspot profile so by default if you check this option and you assign this network to the ssid it will uh, isolate the guest network from the other main corporate LAN network so this is how isolation works so we have seen in this videos about uh, the new radios manager the port manager how you can create uh, a vlan networks and uh, how you can use uh, the port tagging and tagging of v vlans <coughs> so uh, we have seen all those things in this uh, video uh, as also i will uh, try to let you know in the next video how you can use the usp plug uh, which is connected wirelessly to the UAPAC Pro and uh, this plug can be adopted wirelessly and it is connected to the SSID and uh, this USB plug is connected to the UXG light you can see here uh, you can use these options to manually power cycle uh, your uh, uh, outlet power you can power cycle if there is an internet down so it will reboot the modem which is uh, connected uh, uh, behind the UXD light so that's how USB plug works I will show in the next video uh, how USB you can adopt the USB plugs on the controller and here under the topology you can check this my topology and the internet traffic you can check here so I hope in this video I have covered the topic of WLAN wireless local area network and the VLAN and how the internet connection works and the client device isolations and everything I hope that's it for the today's video if you like this video please comment down like share and subscribe to my channel bye